Hello everybody and welcome, KDoc Rock here. Just wanted to go real quick over a quick uh, overview of the new Prestige system and how it looks like it's going to work out for us here in the uh, upcoming seasons of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But day one we all had the season one overview and it showed us uh, here our four new Prestige levels, the new blueprint we could unlock at season level 50 for this season, the green machine, and then some uh, new challenges. But uh, the tabs and everything were not working properly, and uh, if you were experiencing any UI interference like I was, then uh, it would lock it out temporarily, but you could access it still. But we have these uh, challenge cards now, and there's 20 of them for multiplayer and 24 zombies that you can uh, switch over by clicking your appropriate button, as you see there. So yeah, that's a cool addition to see that. And uh, like I said, I just reached level 50 not too long ago and just wanted to make a quick video of uh, what it takes and what it looks like but uh, with the addition of the update today we have that prestige shop that now we can access and showing you here going into this the prestige calling cards there are uh, three tabs within this we have the legacy cards uh, the prestige cards and then the prestige master cards but going into these, there are uh, 37 in total in the Legacy Cards section. And it looks like each one of these is going to cost us one of our uh, Prestige Keys that we uh, earn by uh, Prestiging levels, of course. And uh, I'm not going to go through each individual card and show all those. That would take uh, a rather lengthy time. And uh, this video is just kind of to give a short, brief overview of everything. But uh, you can check those out at your own leisure and uh, access that through your uh, barracks tab and then going into progression. <clears throat> but here in the uh, prestige tab, there are 87 prestige cards in this section. And all these cards, giving a throwback to all the previous Call of Duty Black Ops titles, and I remember accessing these and getting these and earning these through all the various games so it's kind of cool to see them make a return but um, I don't know for the trade-off and having to actually use a prestige key to buy these or unlock these I don't know I'm not 100% sold on I think they could have maybe added something different or done something different as far as spending the keys on some maybe like blueprints or something and then here you see there are still some that are completely blacked out. I'm guessing that's for the additions of the uh, cards coming through our uh, upcoming seasons of Cold War. And then finally in the Prestige Master tab we have uh, 26 cards here. And like I said these were uh, all cards from previous Call of Duty titles. But then we have another section. Uh, we move over to our custom Prestige icons. And it uh, looks like here we have a total of 36 and uh, through the first 12 levels of prestige icons you can see that uh, it looks like they included the uh, icons from uh, other Call of Duty titles for that being prestige 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth and then finally our actual prestige icons that will be uh, coming to Cold War and what we will uh, see but there are 27 levels which is kind of an odd number and then the new system they're implementing on top of this that kind of coincides with everything is the new Prestige Master Star Ribbon. So when you reach Prestige Master you will earn a ribbon that persists across seasons. Each time you reach Prestige Master a star is added to your ribbon. On your sixth Prestige Master this will add the wreath to your ribbon. So the grand glory of all this is receiving a wreath on Prestige Master Level 6 of the ribbons. And out of all total, since technically our first three prestiges were from Season 0, and now we are going from 4 to 7 with our icons, this all fits and now I know why we have a number of 27. But also confirmed right here, just by this master star ribbon uh, system looks like we have definitely definitely coming a total of six seasons for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War not 100% sold on the whole system 
I mean, like I said, they could have probably implemented something different and made this a lot better, but in general, the way it's going to work, so starting with Season 1, where we're at now, you're going to grind 1 from 200, you're going to gain 4 prestiges for every season, and every time you reset, I'm guessing there's going to be a new reward at level 50 for maybe a blueprint again. But yeah, that's kind of how it's going to work out for all of these seasons. So, reset 1 to 200 and grind to grind. But uh, I hope that explains some things and clarifies some things for you. But uh, that's looking how it's going to work from here on out. Not entirely bad, but I think they could have done a little better. And just real quick to show you that uh, season level 50, prestige 4 now. Uh, this is the blueprint you unlock, the green machine for the M16. Uh, it's not a bad looking build, not a bad looking gun. I'm not going to go all into the stats and everything like that, but you can get the quick glimpse here of what you can expect and uh, how it ranks out and uh, the attachments. Not a bad looking overall gun. I might opt for uh, something other than the flashlight, but uh, that's just me. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And if you did, drop me a like and let me know that you did. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. But I will all catch you in the next video very soon. And once again, thanks for watching. Bye.